What's up? Space Monkey here, and welcome back to another Weapons of Call of Duty. And today, we're on Black Ops 3, and we're going to talk about the Dingo. The Dingo is an LMG. It's the second LMG in the LMG category. It's not a DLC weapon. It's an LMG that has a high fire rate, as you can see here. And the rest of the stats are pretty close to being even. So for me, it was a pretty well balanced LMG. Uh, you should be able to get double kills, quad feeds, bloodthirsties with this weapon, and so on, depending on what your game play style is or your reference on how to play with this weapon. I actually had pretty good, I had a lot of fun playing with this weapon. You know, just like most of the weapons that I play with, I, I try to at least get a bloodthirsty with this weapon. Um, with the Dingo in particular, uh, it passed the uh, bloodthirsty challenge. So those of you that are newbies or new to the game, you should be okay with playing with this weapon. I mean, there it is, quad feed right there. It's not that difficult to use. Artillery destroyed. Just a little bit of practice and a little bit of getting to know the maps. You should do pretty well with this weapon. It has a pretty good hip fire. It's pretty accurate. And if you like to run, those of you that like to run with different kinds of attachments, it has a wide variety of attachments to run with. Uh, as far as reflex sights, red dot sights, thermal sights, you name it. Um, it pretty much has all those attachments that come with it as far as the attachments for LMG. Those of you that are not familiar with this weapon, um, I would ask you to go ahead and I would challenge you to give it a try if you haven't already. It's actually not a very bad weapon to play with. Um, I believe that it kind of gets treated like an underdog uh, because most people playing Black Ops 3 as of right now are mostly playing with uh, DLC weapons or there's other weapons that they choose to play with. So this weapon doesn't get a whole lot of love, but it should. It performs very well for a weapon that just comes with the game automatically. Like I said, you shouldn't have problems getting double kills or quad feeds or bloodthirsties with this weapon. It passed the bloodthirsty challenge like I try to get with most of the weapons to show how easy that is. Uh, it's not too much. It's not too less. It's enough kills to be recognized by the game to get the bloodthirsty medal. So I'm not trying to tell you that you could go ahead and get you a nuke with this weapon. Um, but you should do fairly decent playing with this weapon. Once again, don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more content coming. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And once again, this is the Dingo. A lightweight machine gun. It's on Black Ops 3. And it's not a DLC weapon. So you guys should be able to just slap it on your loadout and go and get you some kills with it. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and once again, thanks for watching. Peace.